Okay, here's me. I'm on my phone now. So, yay! I'm going to open YouTube on my computer. I'm gonna to try to remember which camera to look at. And someday I'll be so cool that this doesn't happen. So let me open this up because it's going to be a lot easier to follow along. There's 14 of you. Yay, 14 of 191 people came over. Hi, Barbara. Uh, let's see. What a pain. Hey, you guys, will you close mom's office door? Oh my gosh. Yeah, you can see me now because I'm on my phone. So it's, um, and that's really bad lighting. Okay, so, hey, Amelie, would you close my office door? Thank you. Um, yeah, it's just this crazy thing where if you schedule live off your computer, you have to go through all this. Um, I'm in my pajamas, okay? I put lipstick on for you and a bra, but I am in my pajamas because it's Friday night. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to pull this up on my computer because comments will be um, so shh, quiet. Mute, up on my computer mute me, mute yourself. Be... Don't want to hear myself. Um, and I wish I could go like this because that would be so much easier to look up this high. What time is it where you are? I am uh, quarter to eight Chicago time. So we're Chicago time. Thank you. Hi, Ravonda. I'm sorry, I'm gonna just try to get this camera situated. I think that will work. Okay, now I can keep an eye on what you're saying and I can try to look at the camera. The camera on the iPhone's weird because when you go live, it's actually you look at yourself and that way you feel like you're not just talking to outer space. When you go live on a computer, you can just kind of stare you can just look at yourself because the camera is up high. But when you're on your phone, so the camera's over here and I'm over over there. <laughs> it's just so contrived. Um, yeah, I need a haircut. So I was I know I was complaining about my hair last week. So it's up in a dirty ponytail. And thanks for letting me wear my pajamas. Um, so for those of you that are just joining, uh, we had this all scheduled and um, it was a black screen. So Aiden has helped me learn how to use this software called OBS. O B S is the the key <laughs> the key there. And um I thought I had it figured out. Last week I did it by myself. The week before I did it by myself without his help. And today I don't know, it's a black screen. So okay, let me look at your comments. So you're not joining late. You're not late at all. I'm late to my own party. You're not late at all. And there is a space heater under my feet that are, that's roasting me. Okay, I'm just gonna scroll back and see what I missed. Um, yes, it's Chicago time here. It is a balmy 34 degrees here today. It was uh, seven on Sunday, so we're having a heat wave. Uh, yeah. Um, hi, Colorado. I'm so sorry, I'm not even able to say hi to everyone. Um, lipstick, ironically, I just put it on. <laughs> It is Lip Sense Fly Girl. Did you guys watch In Living Color back in the day? The Fly Girls, the dancers. I think I like that name because it reminds me of In Living Color. 50s in Colorado. Okay, I'm gonna catch up here. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Rainbow. How are you? How was your trip to the Biltmore? I'm so jelly. Actually, my um, little sister lives down there and I, uh, sh she hasn't lived there that long long but I um hope to visit her and the Biltmore for the first time someday soon hi from New Orleans that's somewhere I've never been New Orleans to me is so intriguing because I like places that are very um that just seems like such a subculture and I would feel like such a Sassanac I'd feel like such an outsider there but the whole thing intrigues me um very much okay Cherry has holiday peace going in her diffuser. Fabulous. OBS. Yes. Hey, it's a good life. You know what I'm talking about. OBS. Yes, you do. Okay. Um, 
thank you. 177 people. Thank you so much for coming back after that scheduling disaster. J-Lo was a fly girl. She was, you can do what you want to do. I remember that. I love that show. It made me laugh. That was back when, um, what's his name was actually funny. Jim Carrey. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you so much. How do I say your name? Oh, another name I can't pronounce. I was killing it for a few weeks there with names, but Tara, I don't know. How do I say your name? Tara Medina. Um, Melinda, how are you, dear? I, hi, Maria from Ontario. I'm looking at my computer over here because it's so much easier to read. Um, Carlin. Oh, no, that's not whose name. I can read Carlin. Girl, I can read your name. It was somebody else's name. Uh, <laughs> it's Carlin, silly, she says. I'm feeling a little silly. I'm feeling a little punchy after all that. Midwest. Yes, I am a Midwest girl. I say that Lake Michigan runs through my veins. Um, thank you so much. Um, it's a good life for helping me mod. And then Patty at Life on Lemon Lane is going to help me tonight. Let the adrenaline go down. Actually, I brought my balance oil down here. But I'm sure I've misplaced it in the last 30 seconds. Um, <clears throat> oh my gosh, Jean broke her toes on Tuesday. Ew, isn't that something that you just have to like let fix, let do its thing? Um, all the essential oils. Samya, Sam for sure. I love it. Oh, I love it when you say hi to each other. I was just talking to another YouTuber this week and I was saying, you know, I, I didn't really realize this until the last couple of weeks, but I, I'm just feeling like this whole community vibe. And when you, I noticed a couple of weeks ago, you guys were actually talking to each other that you know each other. And I love that. That gave me like super warm fuzzies. So Jean has to wear a cast, an air cast. Oh boy, my goodness, an air cast. Um, <laughs> North Star, hi. Hi, Barbara. Um, I'll tell you what's going on with me. I didn't break my toes. I almost wish I had no offense to what you're going through. Um, my ear is still giving me like crazy problems and I've lost the most of my hearing in my right ear, which really sucks. <laughs> and um, I went last Monday, so I went for an MRI and those of you that follow on uh, Instagram, you're keeping along with that. Hi Jan, Cobble Creek. And um, so there's no, like they were looking for some like sort of benign tumor, I guess, that can press on the nerve and jack up your hearing and um so there's none of that yay but now they're giving me shots in my eardrum which is not fun you can't hear us but we can see you now <laughs> hi julie i wish i could hear you that might be a little confusing but um <laughs> sorry yeah uh, so that's what's going on with me and I, a broken toe almost sounds better at this point because I wouldn't wish, um, shots in your eardrum to anyone. So I have two more rounds of shots and I guess I'm like in this last week, two and a half window, two and a half week window where they say they can maybe get my hearing back, but we'll see. So I'm hoping for the best, I'm trying to stay positive. It's like almost a two hour drive to go get these shots and I have another one on Monday because I'm not busy enough. <laughs> Okay. Um, did you, Cheryl, lost hearing your right ear too? I just woke up one day and it was gone. I just woke up one day and I had just like this screaming ringing in my ear. I was falling down dizzy and it was just gone. Oh, that's great. My son is here. Hi, Aiden. Um, yeah, Haley, I'm going to get a hearing aid because the ringing, I can mind over matter. I can like just hunker down and and get over the hearing loss, even though it's pretty devastating. I try not to give it too much thought, but the ringing... Like, remember that mo movie French Kiss when she eats the cheese? And she's like, stop the rocking. That's what I feel like all the time with the ringing in my ear. <laughs> stop the rocking. The cows. I just ate those cows. All righty. Shots in the eardrum. What is that? <laughs> right? Yeah, it's really bad. Aiden's doing great. Aiden's a scab. He did fabulous. He had his surgery. And all I can see is my Queen Elizabeth pennant above my 
hair in my peripheral vision, which I haven't lost. And it just looks like I keep getting distracted like I have a piece of hair sticking up. But Aiden never even felt like the pain they said he would. I did not fall, Barbara. Nothing happened. Nothing. Nada. I just woke up. Like, it was terrible. Oh, the ringing is tinnitus, tinnitus, whatever it is. And they're saying that it's my brain making up for the lack of hearing. So my brain's not getting all the noise. And so it's making up for it. Thanks a lot, brain. Okay, let's do, let's, I am staying positive, Carolyn. Thank you. Um, I do make Christmas cookies. Uh, my recipe is on my website. And um, thank you, Allison. That makes me feel a little less crazy. It happened to her husband as well. It's no bueno. It's not fun. Right, rice patty. I, um, how do you know how many kids to have? My husband and I are unsure when one knows one's family is complete. That's a really big question, girlfriend. <laughs> um, that is a huge can of worms. So as a Christian, I believe that children are a blessing from God. And I think there's sort of this mindset in the Christian community where we want all these other blessings from God. We'll take them. But with, with children, we're like, that's where I'm good here. Thank you for all your blessings. So I'm not, um, we're not anti, um, birth control, but we did want a big family and we had a couple surprises and, um, that's fabulous. God knew better than we did. But I will tell you this, to answer your, your question really specifically and to be a little bit vulnerable, um, at, at three children, I wept because I knew I wanted four. At four children, mentally, like from the world's perspective, I felt like I should be done. I felt like, you know, just outside pressure, like I should be satisfied, I should be grateful. I had friends that couldn't have kids. I should be happy. But every time somebody would announce they were expecting, I was just like, oh, it just ached. And then I had a surprise. And then I had another surprise. And that feeling left me. And I felt very satisfied. I felt like these are the people that I'm designed to invest in, to give to. And that feeling went away. Um... And I had some complications after the last one, so that was a, a health decision to not continue further. But I had a lot of peace at that point. So I would say, if you don't have peace, pray about it. Talk to your husband about it. And um, I'm not going to tell you what to do in the bedroom and with your private life and with your babies. But that's just my, that's what happened with me. Okay. North Star Prep Stutter. Yes, they are saying that it could have been a virus that I didn't know I had in my ear. I had nothing else going on, but that's what they're saying, that it can, that that can happen. And I've seen a chiropractor. I've had four fabulous rounds of acupuncture. Um, it's just not getting any better. I'm oiling like crazy. This is an inner ear. You know, my mom's like, maybe there's earwax. Other friends were like, maybe there's earwax. I'm like, it's not earwax. This is like really deep in my head. I can feel it. So, oh, thank you. 300 tonight. I didn't even see that. Oh my gosh. Thank you. All righty. I need to suggest an idea for this video. For this video, um, I don't know. I'll let my moderators handle that. They haven't mentioned Meniere's disease. Um, so I'm just gonna carry on and let's see. Uh, wow, lots of ideas here for my ears. So I will look those over when we're done. Holy cow. Um, I might scribble some things down and ask my doctor. Uh, yes, earwax candles are awesome. I love them. Um, yeah. Oh, shoot. No, I do need Amelie here telling me which questions I've missed. And now my sister is texting me about something. Let's see what she wants. <laughs> she wants. Okay. Am I making a big meal for Christmas? Uh, I hadn't really thought about it yet. Um, I ordered my flowers. So I am thinking about doing... Um, I love this flank steak that I make. My family loves it. It's easy. I do like to keep things 
uh, a little bit more simple for the holidays so that I'm not totally wigging out. So delicious, but simple. So there's a flank steak. I think it's on one of the videos and um, it's really, really yummy. And I might do that and uh, we'll have, you know, a dessert and bread and probably a cheese plate and a big salad, a good bottle of wine. And um, uh, the 24th is Amelie's birthday. So it's always a big, big week. I love your mini bottle collection on the wall. Oh, those are my oils, girlfriend. Those are all my essential oils. <laughs> and my kids, thank you so much. I love the reminders for the thumbs up because that's how we get YouTube's attention uh, to recommend this video to other people. Um, the attic is going great. Uh, see, Melinda? Yeah, that's interesting. I've been reading a lot of stuff. Um, Oh gosh, I am way behind. Yikes. Uh, the attic is doing really well. So the wall is up and I went to the salvage shop if you saw on Instagram and I bought five windows. Um, and so I'm pretty excited about that and they're gonna open this way and um, that we don't, we don't have to worry about children falling out of them. We'll put them on a hinge so they won't open all the way. And it's gonna be really great for everyone to have a little bit more room. They're blessed with a lot more space than we've ever had but some of the bigger kids are um, wanting their privacy, a little bit more privacy. And so we had this third floor, which is insane. And so it's going really well. The drywall is up, it's drywalled on both sides. The windows are cut out, it's insulated, and it will probably be a little bit more done more in stages now from here on out. Joel will tape the drywall and I don't know if I'm gonna like joint compound it, like the kitchen, or if I'm going to shiplap it, I'm not quite sure, so. All right. Ashley is asking if I intentionally, did I intentionally start Instagram blogger? Um, I have been a blogger for longer than I care to admit because my blog is not popular at all. So I started blogging like way back when like the Julia and Julia, Julie and Julia chick did and Pioneer Woman. Um, like back in the heyday, so 15 years ago. And I only started Instagram probably five, four and a half or five years ago. Um, and then YouTube came about because um, we had a, like a reality show reach out and wanted to do some work with me and um, the contract was really bad, it was really icky. And a friend of mine said, well, why don't you just do a YouTube channel and make your own show? And I was like, people do that like I didn't even know I had a few videos of the kids up here but I didn't really know about like branding and like really creating a feel and having it be a creative expression so <sighs> um when I started oils free range homesteader Joel was I had gone to him and I said you know I'm I grew up in Michigan and that's Amway country. So I've always believed in network marketing. It's never been some people, for some people it's a stigma. And for me, it was like very much a norm. I grew up surrounded by network marketers. Um, and so at one point I said to Joel, I, I said, you know, the next network marketing company that comes along and it's a product that I really believe that I, that touches us and I can feel really, really good about it. I'm just going to sink my teeth in and go for it. Sorry, my eyes watering. And, um, that happened uh, like by accident. Someone reached out to me and Shay reached out to me and told me all about doTERRA. And I was like, sure, I'm in, whatever. Yeehaw, let's do this. Just like total wild west. And then I got my oils and had some major, major health changes. And I was like, oh, it's game on. I can help women. <laughs> like we're gonna do this. So um, the children are excited for Christmas. Hogan Homestead got her doTERRA order this week. Okay, there is no plumbing on the third floor of Vivaldi. Um, I wish there was. I was thinking about maybe asking for a little sink because we know I have plenty of sinks. Um, but I didn't really want to freak anyone out this week, so I might hold off on that. The wall is still open at where it could be done, but I don't want to like push anyone over the edge, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, I'm not, I have no Christmas gift, Samra, um, or Samya. Uh, we're going to Disney World in February and getting the bedrooms is, I'm happy. I don't need anything. 
we're actually not doing any gifts this year, so. Alrighty. Joyce, wonderful. Um, I will watch for your email. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to like just get caught up on everything. I don't have Amelie sitting next to me telling me which which people I'm missing as far as commenting. So I want to keep it moving here. If you have a big doTERRA question about oils, um, we put it in all caps so I can see it. And then I don't know if my moderators want to pop my websites in. Um, that would be, yeah, the vacation is going to be amazing. So we haven't ever, I mean, I feel like vacations are so decadent. They're such a privilege. And we've never taken a, like an airplane vacation anywhere as a family. If we were going to vacation, the last big like real vacation we took, like where we rented something and we were gone for a week was up here in Door County. And that was like seven years, uh, six years ago. So I'm pretty excited. We are um, going to take the kids to Disney for like two days and then uh, go visit my grandparents, God willing. They're um, aging and I really would like to go see them in Florida. I'm hoping that they can, they can make it. Um, BP, PV, they haven't said anything about that. He's not mentioned that at all, so. I'm not in Australia with the fires. I am in um, Northern Wisconsin northern i'm surrounded by swedes and norwegians and we are in northern wisconsin on the water in the forest and it's awesome um ashley what makes the doTERRA oils uh let's see julie let me answer julie's question really quick julie for extreme extreme anxiety um there are a couple things that i have dealt with some pretty severe anxiety myself and there are a few things I would recommend. One is called the adaptive system and it is a supplement and an oil and a rollerball and an oil for your diffuser and then there's three more, two or three more, cheer rollerball, motivate rollerball and balance and that is, um, those are my go-to oils and I've, uh, seen them work time and time again. Carolyn said keeping busy works. It's true, but you can be so paralyzed with anxiety. It's just like an elephant sitting on your chest. So those are my oils that I turn to um, when I need that. Actually, I'm going to, I am going to, I have some of them here. I'm going to just pop in an anxiety kit here there so you can check that out and by all means email me and I will point you in the right direction if something resonates with you you can pull the trigger if it doesn't it's totally your call but I'm happy to answer your questions if you'd like them answered um in a more private private matter um let's see what makes doTERRA different um the purity is what makes doTERRA different and I know in the world of essential oils that can sound very cliche, but it's their sourcing, their testing, and their um, transparency that makes them different. So really quick, I know I said all this last week, so I'll say it really quick for those of you that are watching again. Um, I can grow lavender in my potage, but the chemical compounds of that lavender are not going to be the same as the chemical compounds of lavender grown in France or Bulgaria where doTERRA source is theirs. So just like wine, I have a bottle of wine on my desk, and coffee and cheese, my cheese is gone, but I'd show you that. Um, we know that where those things are grown and where they're harvested, it affects the flavor, it affects um, the chemistry of them, and it's the same with essential oils. So doTERRA goes and sources all their oils indigenously and um, there's some really amazing things they do about the farmer. For those of you that are into sustainable agriculture, I can answer that question at another time. But then um, they are tested for being beyond organic. So they're tested for um, fungicide and herbicide, heavy metals, and they get doTERRA stamp approval, which stamp of approval, which is called certified pure therapeutic grade. And 
Then what they do that no one else does is they have a website called Source to You. I can put this little code, scan this little code, or type in the code on the bottom of the bottle, and um, it will show you all the reports, all the testing from that particular oil. So it's kind of like the same concept as why people choose to know where their meat comes from, or they choose a raw milk dairy farmer from down the road, because they want to know where what they're using on and in their body comes from. And that's something I really appreciate about doTERRA is their transparency. So that's a very short answer on an excellent question. Oh, a whole acre says she loves adaptive. It's a game changer. Adaptive is doTERRA's new stress and anxiety system. And it is a game changer for sure. Okay, I'm gonna scroll back really quick. Um, yes, I actually, Right, Rice Patty, I just answered that question in an email to someone the other day. So if you would like to email me, if someone can pop my email in the comments for me, that would be great. Um, I will get you that. Autoimmune diseases often start in the gut, so most likely we'd start there and work out. But yes, I'd like to send you the information that I sent her for sure. Neuropathy, absolutely. There are oils for neuropathy. Um, I have a lot of very happy customers. They use frankincense and cypress with a heating pad for neuropathy. It's excellent. Paralyze. Yes, Julie Marie. Paralyze is the perfect world word for me. I mean, I can just go from feeling like a complete rock star to paralyzed. It's ridiculous. I'm like, who is this person? What is happening here? Um, and I, I love balance oil in particular for that. But okay, let's see here. Oh, Sarah Dwin is in Australia with the fires. Excellent, Jess. Thank you for sharing that. I appreciate that. Having felt like you were having a hard panic attack and took the adaptive capsules. Awesome. Oh gosh, this is fun. Okay, I'm sure I'm really behind. Uh, why does Rose give a headache? Um, I don't know. Are you using it on your head? Is that what you're asking me? I just lost that question. I just lost it. It's on here somewhere. Oh, gosh. Sorry about the dead air. Hang on. Let me find out where I was. <clears throat> yes, Murray, you can. I can't find it. <laughs> you can get doTERRA in England. Um, you can go to my shopoils.com site. And you can. So it's shopoils.com forward slash Angela. There's links everywhere. Patty and uh, hey, it's a good life are dropping links in for me and it will just ask you to enter your um, country. So I have Israel, South Africa, lost tons of customers in Australia, Canada, England, Scotland. I have customers, France, Spain, Portugal. I have customers all over the world. So absolutely. A whole acre. I love that you preach diet with oils. They do go hand in hand. Look, the, the fact is like, I, you know, I work with a lot, a lot of menopausal women. So let's just use menopausal women as an example. I, I'm pre-menopausal. <laughs> okay. But let's just say it this way. Let me be very blunt. You can't just crap all over your body for 47 years and expect to buy a $20 bottle of oil and have a miracle happen. You have to take care of your body. This is a big mantra on the Parisian Farm Girl channel is self-care and it's me first even my husband he's like me before we you have to take care of yourself first ladies you have to so that you can take care of other people and so that you have a fighting chance of taking care of other people with joy with some joie de vivre that's my whole platform and most of our health health starts in our gut and we are fools if we are walking around drinking Diet Coke and eating refined sugar and having a white bread sandwich every day for lunch and eating processed garbage and grabbing a sweet tooth here and grabbing a sweet tooth there and thinking if that does not affect our hormones and our mood and our overall well-being and our gut health, everything that just radiates from the inside out all the way out to our skin. <laughs> Preach it, <laughs> okay? so. You have to take care of yourself. Oils are very, very powerful. But if you're my customer and if you're receptive to me, you'll see when we start engaging in email, I'm going to suggest that you start from the inside out. We'll start with oils if you want to. I'll do whatever you want to. 
but you know, we've got some big issues. Most women are dealing with some sort of leaky gut, some sort of autoimmune, I encounter it all the time. Psoriasis, rosacea, all these crazy hormonal problems. Um, and we need to work from the inside out, so. Okay, I'm gonna step off my soapbox really quick. Um, Elliot, I hope that you just heard, uh, maybe dial back, cue back on uh, what I said about doTERRA's sourcing. Um, it's my understanding that Young Living does um, owns their farms or some of them. I don't, I'm not very well versed in Yellow, Young Living. They don't have the, um, the Source 2 website like we do as far as the ix, the authenticity or the, um, I can't think of the word, showing the test results. I don't, I'm not going to really bash another company. I just know that I have hundreds of former Young Living customers, so I'll leave it, I'll leave it at that. Nutmeg is a hallucinogenic. Uh, I believe it is. We don't have nutmeg oil. doTERRA doesn't source nutmeg oil, but I use nutmeg in cooking and I have the actual nuts and I use them with the grater and I keep them locked up and high away from children because it's my understanding that they are poisonous. <laughs> um, Missy Brown, this is um, lip sense. Look, I'm armed and dangerous tonight. It's a uh, lip sense and it's called Fly Girl and it stays on like the Dickens. It's in my uh, makeup bag. My makeup bag and lots of other, let me see if I can do this and read at the same time. I do have an Amazon store. So a lot of the things you see like, you know, that are not vintage, like around my house, like my dish towels or clothing or whatever, my lipstick, you can find um, in my Amazon store. Just don't buy your oils there, okay? <laughs> All right. I am looking forward to spring. Yep, Angela, so true. Thank you, Julie. Thanks for your kind words. Lip sense, Carolyn Hoover, lip sense. Yeah, Joyce, uh, the, you know, most doctors, what do they have? I heard once, it's like some crazy number. It's like, and I'm not going to dog at MD, just a mom. But like they have a crazy, really sad amount of nutrition hours. Like what is it, 24 in school or something like that? I have no idea. But, um, but yeah, they don't, it's just like, hey, here's a steroid, basically, you know? So, oh, you guys are so, no, Sarah, don't freak. You can use nutmeg they can grate it. You just don't want them to ever get the nut and eat it. That's what I was told by my cousin. And so don't panic. My children grate nutmeg all the time. So yes, it's only toxic in large amounts. No worries. <laughs> don't, don't panic. Oh my goodness. Um, so this is lip sense without the top coat. You want to like, you're going to get a, a nose shot here. Uh, yeah, that's way too close. <laughs> this is lip sense without the lip gloss and I don't wear the lip gloss, but maybe once a week because it has parabens in it, so. <laughs> Mary Shear has been looking for a French barometer ever since um, we were probably on the same sites. I was looking this week too, because uh, yeah, you guys got me thinking. I'm like, hmm, I wonder if there's any out there and I couldn't really find any that I liked. I did find a couple little ones like mine. They were cute made me feel like I had scored with mine so uh, okay sorry getting caught up here with peppermint you know they say you can apply it straight to skin some people peppermint is it's a spicy I guess it could be considered a hot oil so I would do a little patch test and see how you respond. The dosage um, with oils like that, with, with oils, like for babies, it's one drop to one tablespoon. For children, it's one drop to one teaspoon. And the adult dilution ratio is going to escape me right now, but those are usually the ones that people are most concerned about, about children. And I often, when my children were younger and they would be like more inclined to 
you know, rub and then rub their eye because it's pretty painful. I used oils on their back because then I didn't have to worry about them getting it in their eyes. Right, Rice Patty, what's your soapbox view on exercise? Get your butt out there. <laughs> Move. Go garden. Go for a walk. Go work out. Go lift heavy weights. You will not bulk up. Okay, can we just put an end to that nonsense? You won't bulk up. Lift weights until your arm is shaking and you think you're gonna drop it. You'll be fine. Um, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's my view on exercise is you gotta do it. You have to. And you need to get up early and you probably need to just get it done. So, Nia, what is a good oil to put on for labor? Um, yes, Rainbow, I think you're, you're true for, that is different for everyone. Some peppermint does, peppermint's a doozy, you know, it's a very strong oil. It's going to affect people different than others. So, um, for labor, it just depends on what we're wanting to do. Are we wanting to slow it down? Or are we wanting to speed it up? You're, you know, I've used, um, clary sage in labor. I've used myrrh in labor and I was probably delirious with pain. So I don't really remember much else, but I do remember those two. How often do you recommend exercise? You don't want me to answer that. Six days a week? Like, as often as you can. I mean, just think about, like, how hard our forefathers worked to just put food on the table. And they didn't have um, access to, like, the variety of foods that we... Like, we're in such a privileged position. We have a variety of foods to choose from. We have exercise. We have... Um, technology for modern medicine. We're in such a privileged position. We just need to make sure that we're moving and we're not um, sedin sedentary, leading a sedentary lifestyle. So if you have adrenal issues, exercise in the afternoons. Really, Julie, why? Um, that's interesting. Just like as a purging drainage kind of a thing. <laughs> It's true. Door push-ups help strengthen my arms and start walking. That's awesome, Angela. Totally awesome. Seven days a week, six miles. Oh, that's fantastic. Six miles. How long does it take you? An hour and a half? Are you a 15 minute mile? How long does, I want to know how long six miles takes you. That, that intrigues me. Four miles takes me like an hour and five. I'm always stopping to take pictures with my phone. Hour and 10 hour and a half. Okay, Carolyn, good for you. That is excellent. That's excellent. What oils can you use? Uh, you guys put your oil questions in all caps so I don't miss them, okay? Um, arthritic knees, and can you put anything on warts to get rid of them? So our, for arthritic knees, I mean, depending on how bad, uh, I would take this. <laughs> this is a deep blue polyphenol complex. I would take this. I would take um, doTERRA's Lifelong Vitality, but you guys know my joke. Joke. I make all my customers take that. Um, if you're my customer and you're not taking it, I'm just going to hound you until you take it. And you'll go, thank you, Ange, like two months later. Um, but as far as oils, let's start with lemongrass and then deep blue on the top. So layering your oils is very, very effective. And um, that's what I would do. I would. That's what I'd start with is lemongrass and deep blue um, oil or deep blue rub on the top. Oh, Carolyn just turned 70. Oh my gosh, awesome. Barbara, door push-ups are like, you use the door frame, right? And you you like probably lean on an incline. <laughs> this is my new workout show. And you do um, use the door frame and you probably really feel it. Cross your pecs there. Um, Angela, Ange, Angie, let us know if that's what those are, because I'm assuming that's what they are. Oh, oh, for warts too. Um, uh, for warts, oregano oil. So that again is like peppermint oil and oregano oil is a true hot oil. So I do have you, who's here? 
Oh, somebody's dropping off Aiden. You do need to use caution with this oil. First of all, it stinks. Some people like it. It smells like spaghetti. Wow, it's very, very strong. But you can do um, like a spot test. Or I've even had people use a Band-Aid and cut a hole the, the size of the wart so that that's the only thing that's showing. Um, I used it to get rid of a skin tag. Um, but absolutely, oregano is a hot oil and it will, for all intents and purposes, burn a wart off. I'm hi. interrupting. Say hi. hi. This is pretty DIY. Isn't it? Ghetto. <laughs> I wish they could see it what, it, like a mirror. what it looks like. Paris. Aiden's going to show you my setup here. I'm sorry, I'm going to get my phone to work. I just The camera just wouldn't work. The camera would not go on. Right. Yeah, that's like a, a pen holder and there's my phone. There we go. Ooh, 320, that's nice. Oh, wow. I can't see that, so. You haven't even liked it. Oh, I, you disliked it, I see. What? I'm just, I'm just to give me grief. Oregano is the devil. <laughs> it is. It's a nasty, but it's Ooh, amazing. I would know. Um, will you give me a glass of water? Sure. Thanks. If you have a cold or a flu, oregano is like an antiviral, antifungal oil, but you have to really use caution. If you're gonna use it internally, you have to be on a probiotic and you cannot be on it long. And if you're gonna use it topically, you're gonna to wanna to do a spot test for sure. Stress causes more inflammation. Stress absolutely does cause inflammation. Um, you guys, uh, you've seen me um, invite you. If you look in the video description, you'll always see an option to join my newsletter. I hate the word newsletter, it's so lame. But every month I teach an oils class and get really down and dirty and um, lots of information. And in this most recent one, I did address how stress causes inflammation. It's, in, it's incredible. Okay, let's see. Fleas, oh, I don't know. I'm you, sure there's something for fleas. Oregano. Stop. Put it in Excuse your hair. I'm going to scooch it in over your scalp. Scalp. Stop. Don't tell Get them, Get the job done. Stop it. 100%. Guaranteed. You guys aren't supposed to see me drink water. I'm so thirsty. Yeah, it is outstanding for colds and flus. Another one that's amazing um, and not as brutal is Melissa. And... That's another one where I'm always telling my customers, like, save your money and just invest in Melissa. Even if you're buying one bottle of it a year, one bottle every other year, uh, Melissa is just a go-to for uh, staying healthy, for sure. Yeah, you just, I think you're right. Cedarwood for fleas. I do think you're right. Okay. We can talk about anything you want. We don't have to just talk about oils. I love talking about oils, but I want to make everyone feel welcome. So, yeah, Wendy, I would do oregano for sure. My husband had uh, his removed and nothing worked, and then he just oreganoed them. <laughs> Melissa, oh, great. I'm glad. Barbara says Melissa's incredible. It's on sale this month, which is crazy because it's expensive. It's 20% off, which it never is. Thank you. Varicose veins. Ooh, that's a good question. Um, will you email me? Because I know there is. I've read it, but I don't remember off the top of my head. My candles are beeswax. Emily, thank you. I love them. They smell so good, and I just get them off of Amazon. I am an Amazon girl. Like... The UPS man has been here like three times this week and bless his heart, you know, it's the holidays and my uncle was a UPS man. My uncle was a UPS man and we would always be at their house on the weekends and I remember during the holidays he would get home so late. We'd be like, oh, when is uncle going to be home? Um, but so the UPS man called me yesterday. He's like, look, I'm driving by, like we're in the woods, you know, and he's like, I'm driving by and your garbage cans are still at the end of the road. Can I just leave the package on the garbage cans? Because <laughs> I knew what he was saying. I don't want to drive all the way down your driveway and then have to back out and drive all the way out. So I said, sure. Oh, um, helichrysum for varicose. No, oh, that makes sense. That totally makes sense. Betty is 71. She's had nine babies. Morning sickness, 24 seven. Yep, that's me, girl. I puked all day, every day for 10 months. Yep, peppermint saved you. Good. 
when the peppermint sticks come on sale. Oh, you can get a peppermint touch, which is a diluted peppermint for super cheap. Uh, like really, really cheap. I wonder if I can find that while I'm talking to you. Probably not, because that would require. But I mean, how much is it? Uh, Patty or twenty fourteen dollars, sixteen dollars? I don't know. Peppermint roller ball. It's a roller ball, so it comes diluted. Okay. Thank you for buying my cookbook. I appreciate it. Um, Abundant Home. I'm going to pop in my anxiety kit right there. And then if you want to email me, I will be sure to answer any other questions you have. But essential oils for anxiety, I just cannot say enough about them. For Christmas, I, I was telling earlier, I think I'm going to do flank steak. And I'll do some sort of a potato, a cheese plate. Not a big deal. We're just usually like a green, a carb, a red meat, a dessert. Um, the girls will want to make crackers. We'll put out stuff during the day and then we'll eat in the evening. Um, the 24th is Amelie's birthday. So for the children's birthday, they get to pick what they want to eat all day. So I'm kind of at her disposal. She actually needs to let me know so I can plan. For the garden this year, I would like to do, I'd like to build my greenhouse really bad. You can see it up there. Some of my ideas. Um, We'll see, I'm going to order a lot more roses this winter. And then, you know, it's all just based on budget and time. So I hope to put in a whole, a whole nother, whole nother, whole nother round of perennials. So last year I made a big haul and planted those and it made a huge difference. And so I just want to keep adding and layering. Um, at the end of the season this year, I just did, you know, there are things you could do to make your garden look old. And so I just like took succulents and, Johnny jumps up, Johnny jump ups, and you tuck them in into rocks and in corners there, and it just sort of makes it look like everything's been there for a long time. So I let, did a lot of that this fall. I bought all these bulbs and only got half of them planted because I was so busy. Somebody tell me, this is like, I'm embarrassed to say this. This might be a really stupid question, but the bulb needs to be cold, right? So can I put it in the freezer for a while and then plant it in like as soon as the ground thaws like can I do an artificial chilling of a bulb and then get it to bloom I'm really curious because I know there's some hacks there Samantha I do have chickens and right rice patty there are doTERRA probiotics for toddlers absolutely absolutely um, my roses rainbow I get them from um, David Austin and and the freezer works for most bulbs. Yes. Great. <laughs> that is good news. And she puts garlic in her freezer. Fridge, not freezer. So in my cooler, in my big walk-in cooler. Oh, that's great. That is excellent news. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so happy to read this. Wonderful. Good to know. Okay. Talk about the cleanse you're going to do in January. Why well, don't mind if I do. So last year... Um, I did a big juice cleanse in January. I just wanted to just detox, you know, I'm just like everybody else. I'm drinking more champagne, I'm having more cookies, more sweets, more rich foods around the holidays and you just start to feel sluggish and yuck, as fun as it is. And so I had done a lot of reading about doing a juice cleanse and I thought, okay, I'm gonna do this. And it sounded really scary to me because it's a juice fast for, you know, there's. I'm not um, making smoothies. This is a juice fast. And I did it last year. And I felt amazing. I just had like laser focus brain activity. And I felt strong and just clear. That's just the best way to describe it is I felt clear. My skin was clear. I looked clear. My eyes were clear. My brain felt clear. And I am so pumped. I wish I'm going to start it on the 2nd of the month of January and I wish that um, it was like next week. I can't wait to do it. And I'm going to be um, using some of doTERRA's gut cleanse and restoring um, supplements at the same time. And so I'm pretty jazzed, excuse me. 
because I did it for 19 days last last year. And so I'm going to share that with you if you don't mind, because I know there's a lot of people that just really want to do like a hardcore reset for their health. And I, because of how I felt, I would recommend it. Yeah, it was, I was really focusing on my liver. You're right. And um, it was amazing. It just was absolutely amazing. So I'll share like all my bottles and my juicer. I'll share everything with you. I'm not a doctor. So check with your doctor. But wow, it just... I just couldn't believe how great I felt. I was a little freaked out. Like, am I going to be hungry? I'm going to be lightheaded. I had nothing like that. It was incredible. Cornish hens. Oh, I love that. I love doing the little Cornish hens. I love it. Everybody gets their own bird. Yes, absolutely. You should do that. Okay. Okay, now I'm super behind. What does the colon like besides breast milk? Not quite sure. Interesting. Yes, I think I'm going, Jessica. I say I don't want to make things too complicated, but I actually was thinking about starting, like just doing a couple little YouTube videos, like checking in and then doing a Facebook support group for anybody that wanted to do it with me. Um, Julie, I did not gain my weight back. Um, so I did, I, I did lose, lose a good amount. That wasn't the reason I did it, um, but I did lose a good amount and it felt fantastic. Awesome. Okay, I will share then. I will. Uh, okay. Interesting. Um, Samara is asking about um, YouTube changing. They're, I don't quite understand it. I need to read more. I've been told not to worry about it too much, but they're making all these rules for... Um, collecting data about children. So if you make videos that are for children, they can no longer be monetized. They can no longer get a thumbs up. They can no longer have comments, any of that. And from, you know, every time you guys like something, you know, that's YouTube collecting data. And that's how they know. Some of you found me probably on your side ticker because it said like essential oils about menopause. And maybe two months ago you had Googled something about menopause, you know, so, um, they're not allowed to collect data on children anymore. So that means that videos that are targeted to children can't be monetized and they can't have any of that data collecting mojo. So it's kind of crazy. And us YouTubers can't decide if we should freak out or if we should just change a few videos. I have a few videos I probably think I should change, but otherwise my videos aren't for children. So... Lots of questions on spring garden plans. Okay, all right. Um, I missed those. Sorry. So I'm going to our. We're going to be in a garden walk next year, so that's fun. I'm trying to decide if I want to pea gravel that whole section, or if that's probably just a plan for a few more years from now. What I really want to do is working on making the potage the where you go down the stairs and you're out you know out by the forest that big flat expanse i want that to look um more established i want that to not look so um immature so i feel like the front um, became very mature this year the perennials really took to the soil i amended the snot out of my, my soil the previous year and um, i did again this winter i mean we have manure from the barns like this deep just sitting on top of the beds and then we'll just kind of lightly till it in in the spring but um I'm really hoping to take some of the arbors and the trellises that are out there and put in more roses there's six out there right now in the far you know down in the potage but I really want that to feel established I'm thinking about bringing in some cypress to bring some green some vertical green and um, just, you know, it's such, it, it, this will just be my third year. And half of that garden wasn't even there last year. We created it in the spring. So it's just really a learning curve and even just a design curve. Like, what do I want to look like? What do I want this to look like? How long is it going to take? I want to grow a lot of vegetables, but I want perennials in the mix in the meantime. So...
um, Carolyn, your manure, it's, it's the hotness of your manure is dependent on the animal. So your chicken manure, they say, needs to sit for a year. My soil is really, really anemic. My soil does not need it to sit for a year. I can go a little bit less than a year, but things like rabbit and sheep and goat, that can just go right on. Um, your cow manure, your horse manure, a year, you know, the longer it sits, the better. Um, but we've got it sort of designed here on the farm where we have some animals that can go right, their manure can go right in the garden and others um, need to sit for a while. Cobble Creek, I don't know if I'm teaching. Um, I would hope so, we'll see. I'm not quite sure if I'm teaching again this year. I don't know how that works if she asks the same people every year, um, I'm not quite sure. Oh, while not guarding, what are you up to? Yeah, that's kind of what the free spirit, that's kind of what I was gathering. They were just so heavy on the fine lingo. I'm like, really? Are you just trying to like recoup your money because you got fined? You know, like boomer. Who's saying boomer to me? Is that one of your friends? Oh my gosh. Okay, boomer. I'm removing that. It annoys the snot out of me. <laughs> okay, Boomer. Who's saying okay, Boomer, to me? Aiden. <laughs> um, we have sheep and goats and chickens and geese and cats. <laughs> That's what we have. Oh, sorry. Patty, I'm reading your comment, too, about garden answer <laughs> boomer oh I, I don't know Carolyn my children are using the word boomer in a way that annoys the snot out of me it's there they don't mean it like baby boomer oh my kids say that to me boomer oh yeah see so you're not alone Joel Aiden and I got in this huge go around the other day because I'm like if you don't stop saying that to me I'm gonna lose it because that is the dorkiest expression I've ever heard a boomer is a baby boomer I am not a baby boomer. You don't get to just adopt a word and start using it, okay? <laughs> oh, everybody gets it. <laughs> Seriously, he recorded me and he's like, I'm gonna put this on social media. I'm like, don't you dare. So yeah, you just don't get to just start calling people boomer. Like you don't even know what that means. In fact, you guys wanna hear something so funny? He's, he's into like Joe Mama now, you know? Who, who said it, Joe? Joe who, Joe Mama. I'm like, you realize that's not a new expression, right? I was saying Joe Mama, like before you were born. <laughs> it's such a fad. It's so ridiculous, Boomer. It is, it is. <laughs> it is. I wish you could see these comments. You must not be on anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's an old expression. It is kind of what comes around, what goes around, comes around. And it just, he is what behind the ears. Nia wants to know if anybody's purchased my cookbook and what did you think of it? <laughs> Talk about my cookbook. Okay, thank you, Patty. <laughs> Patty tells me what to do. My um, cookbook is called From France to the Farm. And it is a labor of love that I wrote a couple years ago. And it is um, many of my family recipes, my mom's recipes, my great grandmother's recipes, my grandmother's recipes. I love it. It was self-published and I did it all myself. I took the photos, like I did the whole thing myself and I'm so stupid proud of it still to this day, three or four years later. It's beautiful if I do say so myself. So beautiful that I got done writing it and for about the next six months to a year on my blog, I thought, well, I have nothing to say because I just said everything that was in my heart. So it has family stories, family recipes. It, I wanted it to feel like a coffee table book, even though it's um, a soft cover. I wanted it to be very heavy on photography and so it is. I wanted someone to just want to use it in their kitchen but also want to take it and sit down in their living room and just read it and just be inspired and um, 
So I took my grandmother's recipes and my great grandmother's recipes in particular, and I added things that they would have never used. You know, my great grandmother, she was like, you know, strong like bull. She was a German farm wife, right? She's not going to be using balsamic vinegar and she's not going to be using herbs the way we do today. And so I added these elements from French cooking that I learned in France and through studying French cookbooks and I added them to family recipes. So yeah, it is $35. That's not necessarily me. That's Amazon, but you can find it on Amazon. Um, and I hope that you will find it a lovely investment. Oh my gosh, you have it open in your kitchen. That is so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Show us the book. Then you'd have to see my jammies. Let me go get the book. Hold on. show you some pictures so it's got the kids so it's cute. it's a little bit scrapbooky in that sense but I think it's pretty I'm very 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 proud of it I just had a vision for it and and I feel like as a creative when you can do something and you still like it three or four years later that's a really good thing Okay, let's see. There's little Anaïs. That's Little Miss. My favorite color is glitter. Thank you. Thanks. I'll show you a few more. Do I have high heels on with my peanut butter and jammies? <laughs> no, I have my slippers on <laughs> and my husband's socks. No, but I love my jammies. These are Ralph Lauren from TJ Maxx. And you know me, I'm wearing plaid like all day, every day from October 15th to Valentine's Day. Here's my... Parisian pot pie with nasturtiums in the crust. Have you guys ever done this before? I'm going to show this like really close. Look at that. They look like tissue paper when you fold nasturtiums into your dough. Let's see. Why don't let me show you a few more since we're at it. Oh, this is our old property here. The kids. And stuff. Thank you. Thanks. Good idea, Patty. Two points for Patty. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah. See, it's just like ready. Okay. I'm sorry. I love these pictures. This is just uber pretty. Thank you. And then the back. This was not my idea. So you want to hear this crazy story about the back? my photographer that took the cover picture. How did this come about? I met her at a coffee shop in town back in Illinois. We got to talking, we became friends on Facebook. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, one day I was looking at her page and I saw my second cousins commenting on her page. And I thought, well, what the heck? How do you guys know each other? I did take the photos, Barbara, thank you. Um, and I know I should make recipes for YouTube, but I'm just darn if it, it's a timing thing. Friends, I will. 2020 is going to be a great year. There's going to be a lot more content coming on the channel. Um, and then the Queen of Sheba cake. Somebody was just mentioning the Queen of Sheba cake. I just made this the other day. That's a really good one. Um, and so I said, how do you, how do you two know each other? And they said, well, we're cousins. I'm like, shut up. She's my second cousin. So it turns out that the lady that I hired to do the photography for the front and the back, ready for the scandalous back. Woohoo! I am fully clothed. It just doesn't look like it. I love that picture. Um, she is, I don't even know if you can follow this. You probably can't. My second cousin's mother is her mom's sister who knew so we know all the same people and we're practically related like who knew i'll show you one more 
This is what I had the most fun with, like getting creative with the layout, the tart pan for the tart crust recipe. I loved that. Someday I'm gonna write another book. We all need a good photographer. And so it was her mom had come over to, to meet one day and I had that bathtub out in the potager at our old farm and she said oh you have to be in that bathtub on the back of your cookbook like the sun's going down and you got a glass of wine and you're you're out there I'm like oh that's a really really good idea <laughs> so and now that bathtub is going upstairs in the bathroom that we're just doing so it is a small world and I'd like to write another cookbook I would like to write a gardening book Everything's gonna have to be, you know, for such a time as this, so. For sure. <laughs> I feel so lazy. No, 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 no. I should make you feel sane. That's what I should make you feel because I'm kind of crazy and yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm so thirsty. Okay. Thank you. That was fun. I haven't shown anyone that book in a long time, so I appreciate that. Sometimes I forget to even tell people that it's there. In fact, I often forget to tell people that it's there. It is called um, From France to the Farm. <laughs> Berean girl, I haven't seen you in a long time. Where have you been, girl? Um... <laughs> Right, Ravonda. Well, I saw signed copies. Um, it's print on demand, so Amazon prints it for me. If you wanna send it to me, I'll sign it and send it back, I suppose, but I don't have copies here. And that was actually, you know, for those of you that are wanting to write your own book, do it. Like, there's nothing wrong with being self-published. If you have something to say, you should say it. And Amazon is such, actually, it's these days it's Kindle Publishing. It's such a safe way for a creative person to be creative and not put um, money on the line. Just express their creativity and not have that risk factor involved because I think that's such a uh, such a, um, a hindrance for creatives is, you know, most of the time we don't have the, the funds to do what our heart wants us to do. I think you sold some copies tonight. <laughs> that was really sweet. Let's see, amazon.com forward slash shop. This is my um, Amazon shop and you will find it in there. I know you guys are all so sweet. Melinda, thank you. That was, that was very sweet. Hey, get organized. How are ya? Okay. Yes, some days we do need a rocker in the attic. Some days we, why do you think I'm in my pajamas today? At like seven, I'm like, oh boy, I better put on some red lips and a bra because we're doing this. Some days you need a rocker in an attic and some days you just need to go for it and express, um, express yourself. Melinda, I have thought about doing a video on how to self-publish. I have, because when I was looking I scoured the internet on how to successfully uh, self-publish and launch a cookbook and I could find nothing. So it's a good idea. Get organized is Sue. Hi, Sue. <laughs> Red lips and a bra. Okay, I think we're caught up. Nita, Nita, I think you officially were the first person to order my cookbook, and I got your Christmas card today. Thank you, dear. Thank you so much. It's on my desk somewhere. Uh, don't You don't want to see my desk right now. It's been a long day. Where is it? Is this it? Here it is, Nita. Thank you so much. <laughs> you need an Aiden in your life. I do too, but he's gone so much. Sorry. Um, so with the house, Kim, we're doing this uh, attic, these attic bedrooms for the children, and it's a huge project, and my laundry room is torn up, and th there's a lot of really rough parts of the house. So you know when you're doing a project, how about this, when you guys clean your house, or you deep clean your house, or you're doing a big project, have you ever found that it has to get 
it gets worse before it gets better. <laughs> That's kind of the stage we're at right now where it's, it feels worse. And I'm assuming it has to get better before like the tulips bloom. That's when it has to get better by because, because from then on out, you know, till October, it's garden time. So I'd like to finish the bedrooms, finish the boot room, which is now the laundry room. I call it the boot room. Move the laundry room upstairs. That's all done. It's plumbed. It's wired. It's insulated. There's a lot to do. So. Oh, D, that's really sweet. <laughs> upstairs looks stressful. <laughs> it looks really stressful. It's yes, regressing. Before I'm assuming you mean progressing. Yes. Um, it's it is very stressful. So the children's beds are ordered. So a couple of them have been sharing a bed, which is no big deal, but, um, they were hand-me-down mattresses and I wanted them to have their own mattress. So I tried to do a lot of research on an affordable mattress that wasn't like a big cancer bag, you know, full of formaldehyde and, um, flame retardant. So that took a lot of doing. And, um, so two of them have them, four more mattresses are coming next week. And I found these salvaged windows. I found a little dresser for the boys. They needed, we need some serious storage up in here. And um, it's going to be incredible. It's a great space. We're so blessed. Who in the world has a third story? I can't even wrap my head around it. And it's just going to be an amazing space. So... I am going to do who deletes unwanted messages. I don't know. Somebody does. Oh, thank you. I don't know. I didn't see it. <laughs> I have people looking out for me. Um, I would like to do a book on the house. I would like to write a book called Everyday Chateau and just write a book about taking something ordinary and bringing in whatever your version of elegance and refinement and beauty and character and charm is. And I would like to call it Everyday Chateau. I think that would be really cool, but we have a long way to go. I mean, this is all right. still like, what? Just saying hi. <laughs> what are we talking about now? Writing a book. Another one? Yeah. So, well, I mean, it's been like four years, so I, I, mean, I guess it's kind of due. What there are you writing is about? What's your oh my goodness, someone just said something really nice to me. <laughs> that's, I, mi I missed it. This one right here? That's, oh, that that's Scarlett O'Hara. I, I wish I could do that with my eye though. I can't, what, I can't what? do that. What are you doing? No. <laughs> I can't do that thing where she goes with her eye. She like raises her eyebrow. Like the kids laugh, no, try it. Can what? you do that? What, what, what like, am I trying to do? I'll have a stroke, ready? What, what are you trying to do? <laughs> I'm trying to flare your nostrils. <laughs> I'm trying to raise my eyebrow. One eyebrow. Look. Not a Botox like, move. No, like, I can do one. Yeah. Um, no, my children can all flare their nostrils. You can't, can you? I can. Oh, see, I, I can't. can't. My children no, can. It's so funny. Try doing it. Try doing I it. I can't. It's so amusing. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I can do it. No, you do I it. I can't do it. Ready? Do it. Try. <laughs> like you make your face smaller when you do it. I Nothing probably like bigger. purse my lips. Oh my gosh. Go to bed, I son. Somebody said go to this. bed. Me? But anyways, nobody's ever said it's Scarlett O'Hara. Oh, is this one? Is this the Scarlett O'Hara picture? Oh, yeah. I think she's so beautiful. Yeah, I can't flare my nostrils and I can't raise my eyebrow. If I could raise my eyebrow, oh man, that would be, it would be game on. That would probably not be good. I know, Victoria, oh, wait, who just said that about fizzling out before the job was done? <clears throat> I hope I don't fizzle out before the job is done. Yeah, well, I can't. I have to get it done. I mean, I have to. Okay. I can't believe I'm watching this. <laughs> I can roll my tongue. I won't do that for you. I can roll my tongue and I can do that like funky thing where you like crease it. I won't, I won't show you that. That's just gross. Um, wow. 
Is there any way health insurance covers certain doTERRA products? I don't think so. Maybe certain, certain, uh, what are they called? All I can think of is, of is CSA, H, HSA, like a health insurance, HSS. I have no idea. Health insurance share or health insurance. Do you know what I'm talking about where you make a deposit and then you can use it? I don't know what that's called. I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, tap on Patty's name on your phone and select add moderator. Oh, okay. I'll do that. Patty, where are you? I thought she was just automatically added um, from previous interactions. Oh, shoot. Add moderator. Whoop. Done. Woohoo! I was adding Patty as a moderator. I thought I had done that a long time ago. Thank you, HSA, Health Savings Account. That's, I feel like some do that, but I don't know. I don't know. Yep, health insurance only covers chemicals. Sometimes you need them, most of the time you don't. So, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we've been an hour and a half. I can't do that. I can't. I cannot raise one eyebrow, Brian. I cannot do it. Look, I'll try. I have to look at myself. No, I just, they both go up. I can't do it. That would be so fun. <laughs> nope. Um... This is Angela. Hi. Oh, excellent. Excuse me. That was someone from church. A recording from church that one of our church members just got out of surgery and cancer was successfully removed. Okay, praise the Lord. Yay. Okay, don't answer that. <laughs> okay, I, I can do an Elvis slip, like a good Winona Judd Elvis slip. I think I can do that, but now I won't be able to do it under pressure, I think. I, won't, I can't do it now because I'm smiling, right? Right, like this? Is that it? <laughs> Like that. <laughs> okay, this is just silly. I don't belong to any women's groups. I don't really fit in. <laughs> I'm not a good fitter in her. I'm not a good group person. Um, yeah. Scary movie. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we are at nine o'clock. Anybody have any other questions? <laughs> any other oil questions? Um, oh, homeschooling. How do you talk to your kids about modern US politics? Uh, I don't really dwell on it too much. They kind of know what's going on. They kind of don't. We focus more on understanding history right now at this point. Um, yeah, it's a hot mess. I've got better things to talk about with them right now. <laughs> frankly talk about blood pressure and stress going up no thank you not right now they know who the president is they know how things work that's um yeah can you just block the trolls we try to block the trolls we do our best victoria um ray jane's not a group person either thank you appreciate that do i have an oil for chocolate cravings <laughs> um have a big glass of water Start with that, a drop of Slim and Sassy oil, and then just have a piece of chocolate. Just just have a piece of chocolate. Just have one piece of chocolate. Can you do that? Can you have a 72% chocolate, not loaded with a lot of sugar, no nugget, no caramel, no garbage, you know, not a Kit Kat, 
but can you just have like one square of chocolate? Could you do that for yourself every night at nine o'clock? At nine o'clock, I get a square of chocolate or three o'clock in the afternoon, wherever your vice hits. Um, do that. Don't say no, just say moderation. Snap grade. Okay. Oh my gosh. Here comes the questions. Ange wants to know how my snaps grow so tall. They are, um, rocket snaps and if you look closely I do put some stakes in there lots of twigs so excuse me in the spring when I plant I take branches with lots of twig sh shoot offs and I just stick them in the ground all over the place where my snapdragons or other things that could get floppy are going to grow so it looks a little bit unsightly at first and then um, it fills in and it looks wonderful okay the cream <laughs> oh, magnesium helps with chocolate cravings. Oh, that's so funny. Awesome. Okay, you guys. So, ladies, I shouldn't say you guys. It's such a bad habit. It, that's a habit I would love to change. Um, I should probably be done. My voice is getting a little bit tired. I keep needing water. That was an amazing hour and a half. For those of you with oil questions, I would love to help you out. Um, you guys know, like I'm having a riot with doTERRA right now. So I have lots of free stuff. So if you want to become a customer tonight, I'm going to throw free stuff your way because I've been blessed with a lot of, a lot of goodies. So we have some really great things going on right now with, um, doTERRA's promotion. They're giving away free frankincense. And so I'm giving away free products to new customers as well. So if you're curious, shoot me an email. Um, I did say which lip I'm wearing. Well, in a second, let me give you my email because I know some of you had some some serious health concerns that you want to talk about and you don't want to talk about on this platform. And I don't blame you. We can talk privately. And so there's my email. And shopoils.com forward slash Angela is my shopping slash, slash education site. So check that out. I would be happy to help you. Madam Butterfly, Emily, go girl. Madam Butterfly Bronze are my pink ones. The white and pink were Potomac Apple Blossom. And I bought them from Johnny's Seeds. What did I have for dinner? I made um, a venison pot roast yesterday with potatoes. So then last night I took the leftovers and I added tomato sauce and vegetables and barley that had soaked in delicious, delicious chicken stock and I made a big pot of soup with a big loaf of bread, and that's what we ate all day. All right, Victoria, wonderful. All right, so I do appreciate your doTERRA business because that is our family's livelihood. That's what we do for a living, and I do want to be your oil lady. I'm very, um, education is my specialty, so I do like you to be a very educated, empowered oiler. I don't want you just to buy oils from me and have them sit on the countertop. And I don't want you to buy oils from someone else and not know what the heck you're doing. And so that's very important. And for those of you that are considering joining me in the business, I would love to have you. 2020 is going to be an amazing year. We just moved in. My team just moved into the top 1% of the company. And we are rocking and rolling. And <clears throat> we'd love to have you on board. Merry Christmas. You know what I'm working on right now is I'm uploading the Parisian Farm Girl music playlist. So that is my Christmas present to my subscribers. Um, I think you love the music just about as much as I do. And so I've put together two hours of all the songs, many of the songs that you've heard over the last 18 months, two years on my videos into one playlist. All right. Tell me what you think about that. Is that exciting? Because it's going to take a long time to upload. <laughs> um, and I hope you enjoy it. So I'm hoping you can just turn it on and you can bake and you can clean. Hi. And you can have some fun. All right. Merry Christmas. I will um, hopefully, I think I'll be back. I'll know. Next week is the holiday. So maybe next Friday night. Okay, ladies, friends, thank you so much. Adiento. I don't know how to sign off on this phone, so we'll have to figure it out. Thank you for joining me. Let's see. I just hit the stop button. I hope that's how you do it. Cancel. I have no idea how to do this.
Yes, I want to stop streaming.